Tracking the time you spent working on a task is the simplest thing in the world using Grindstone. To begin, you need to tell Grindstone what task you're going to be working on. An easy way to do this is to click the mouse in the Quick Task Entry box, type the name of a new task, and press the Enter key. You can keep typing the names of tasks until you're ready to start working. Once you're about to start working, just click on the task you're about to work on and click the Start Timing button. Note the window that just appeared on the top of your screen. This is the stopwatch. It shows you how long you've been working and gives you quick access to basic task and timing controls from any application. You're free to close the task list at this point to get it out of your way. If the stopwatch is ever in your way, just move it to another location by clicking and dragging on it so that it's not obscuring your view of your work. When you decide to change the task you're working on, you have the option of double clicking on the stopwatch to show the task list again and repeating the procedure mentioned earlier. But it's quicker and easier to simply click on the drop down button on the stopwatch and to select the new task from there. You can also create new tasks directly from the stopwatch by just typing their names into it. When you're ready to stop working, just click on the stop button either in the stopwatch or in the task list. As you can see, Grindstone has kept a record of when I changed tasks and for how long I worked. As long as I keep Grindstone apprised of what I'm working on, it will keep very accurate records for me to use when the time comes to submit my time to my boss or to bill my clients.